All right, guys. I got to show you this because, well, frankly, this is my hated platform, and I am going to be explaining why I was using this expired platform for, I don't know, six months. I was constantly on the trending. I was always holding the featureds, like these guys, number one in adventure and stuff. I used to be always number one on this platform. Um, I don't come in here anymore to write, so let me show you why that is, okay? So, when we look at their, um, their things, right, how they do it, I used to write nonfiction on here as well, okay? So, this can be a great platform for nonfiction, if you're not, um, gonna write anything, or, or for fiction, if you're not gonna write anything that requires the link. Um, I freely can link anything in any other platform for nonfiction. This two head dragon I have actually read, and it's a GPT generated story. It's not worth reading, in my personal opinion. But uh, AI, I don't like AI. AI just kills uh, creativity. It kills everything. But as you can tell, lots of people are writing on Inspired, right? And you can earn money on here, but. The thing that I don't like is if I go create a story, right, I can create my universes and all that, which is cool. It's got a lot to offer people. It really does. But if I'm going to just, I'll just show you guys. Okay, I'm going to make a new book on this stream. Okay, nonfiction, because this is the problem. Okay, I was a premium user, but... I stopped supporting this channel or this uh, this platform because I should be able to go www.camrosenovels.ca Where's my writing? You see what I'm saying? You cannot link anything. No linking. Okay. 90% of an author's income comes from external linking. So if I can't link a story to my website, like if, I, if I'm talking about my website and my book and I can't... Uh, There we go. Delete the story, because I'm not going to keep this. I don't keep anything on here. I actually had quite an irate conversation um, at one point with the owner of this uh, website. You can make money. You can get published. Yes, there is a writer app. Is it worth upgrading for? No. They don't want you to link to anything of products that you might be talking about. They don't want you to make money uh, as a nonfiction writer. So don't go there, especially if you're a nonfiction writer. If you're a fiction writer, eh, maybe this is for you, but I do both. So it's no good. Not for me. Um, the owner of the site had made it very clear that they don't like external linking happening inside of the books. Well, that actually happens for a lot of free books for especially beginning authors that are trying to get an income going so they can actually write more and focus on their craft. So this platform, Inspired, is not a high recommendation, and that's why I mainly avoid it. Other than that, it may have a lot of great benefits for people that are uh, looking at expanding on their writing craft, but for me, this, this was just a hindrance rather than a help. I can't link. I can't connect my website i can't uh i can't advertise my crypto mining if i wanted to i i couldn't uh i couldn't even link in my blog where the information that i was sharing on inspired was already available yeah so anyways i hope this has been a little informative bite-sized piece on inspired 
because frankly, this is not a writing platform I would suggest for any writer, um, even fiction, because there's other places that are way better than this, and you can earn way more than uh, what these guys will actually let you. Um, you could even write on Smashwords or Drafted Digital, put a free book, and potentially earn more than you could on Inspired, um, especially as a nonfiction writer. Uh, as a fiction writer, okay, maybe you'll make about the same as you would ex as Inspired. It's an extra channel. I understand that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely not a platform for me. I will not be recommending this to anybody ever again just because of the fact that they do not support authors and their ways of making income for, you know, being able to focus on their craft. If I have a product that I'm trying to just tell people about and let people know through my blog, and I have a blog on this website. That's up to me to link that. That ain't that ain't you, the site owner, to dictate whether or not I can link my own stuff. If you don't like the kind of stuff that we're linking, well, then maybe make that a thing of your privacy policy, your terms and conditions. Don't just sit there and tell people no linking. It's not okay. That's not okay. Not in my mind. I hope this has been very informative, guys, but th this is one platform I will always be pretty certain that I'm not going to come back to because of everything that's happened with their refusal to let people link. Um, I've already let people know in the platform that I will not be partaking in this platform anymore. My profile's there uh, five months after I've requested my account to be deleted permanently and I can still log in to make this video. So that just goes to show you how much they listen to their clients guys this is how much they listen to their support email i've been waiting for five months for this account to be deactivated so it goes to show you how much they prioritize their customer care but that's just my opinion right this is my own opinion i have the right to that but um yeah i wouldn't recommend this for any writer no you know what to do guys hit that like subscribe and uh, share button you know hit the bell. You don't want to miss another uh, writing post of mine, because this is author's assistance, right? Like, I know this is a tidbit, but this is another author's assistance video, so you guys know what not to go for. So, this is why I will not be using Expired. And I hope you guys will understand that this is merely opinion. It's not because of any malicious intent or anything. This is just, it, it goes against how I feel as an author. And this is actually a big part of why the uh, American Writing Guild is going through strikes is because of unfair treatment like what Inspired does uh, to writers. So that's why we're seeing Stranger Things get writer strikes and all kinds of these movie productions and book writers are, are going on strike because they're not being fairly uh, compensated, right? I put work into my my writing and if my nonfiction is something that people like and they decide to go through my link and buy that that's up to them that's not inspired's choice but i think i've rambled enough i think this is clearly something that just cheesed me off um i have nothing against the platform itself it has a lot of great tools a lot of great great potential but that lack of linking kills the entirety of the the versatility of the website in my mind so Thank you for tuning in. And uh, don't forget, if you want to catch the next video, you got to hit that notification bell. So uh, my donate link is in the description. You can check out my website. I also have my Patreon in the link as well on my channel. So feel free to go to my channel, hit that to get into my Patreon and support the content that I'm producing for you guys. Um, and that's all for today. So ciao for now.